Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Eclairs are one of those desserts that seem really intimidating to make, but this elegant treat is actually super easy to make at home. I'm going to show you guys how to make my chocolate covered coffee creme filled eclairs. You guys are going to love that coffee cream on the inside. Let me show you just how easy they are to make. I'm going to start things off with my dough. Into my saucepan, I'm going to add in one cup of water, half a cup of unsalted butter, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Heat this mixture over medium high heat until that butter is completely melted. Once the mixture comes up to simmer, add in one cup of all-purpose flour and stir that in. Once you add the flour in, you want to cook the mixture for about a minute or until the dough holds together into a ball. Allow the cooked mixture to cool for about five to seven minutes until it's warm to touch. And now it's time to beat in the eggs one at a time. Drop one in. I'm going to transfer this mixture into a large pastry bag and today I'm using tip number 8 FT. I've lined two baking sheets with Matt's parchment paper will also work great for this recipe. Now I'm just going to pipe the eclairs onto the pans. I've got my oven preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and the eclairs will bake for 10 minutes and then I'm going to turn the oven temperature down to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, bake for another 25 to 30 minutes until the tops are golden brown, then I'm going to let my eclairs cool completely. Meanwhile, let's get started on that coffee custard cream filling. For my custard, I'm going to place two egg yolks into a mixing bowl and add one third cup of white granulated sugar. Whisk this together until I get a pale mixture. And to thicken the custard, I've measured out two tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of water. Mix that into a slurry. Then pour it into the sugar and egg yolk mixture. And in a saucepan, I'm going to create the second half of my custard. I've measured out a cup and a half of milk. I'm going to pour that in. And add one tablespoon of all-purpose flour. Whisk in the flour and then heat this mixture until it's just simmering hot. My milk is now steaming hot, so I'm going to slowly pour it into my egg yolk and sugar mixture. And whisk it after each addition. My two mixtures are combined together. Now I'm going to pour this custard mixture back into my saucepan. Cook this mixture over medium low heat for about seven to eight minutes, stirring constantly and scraping along the bottom of the pan until the mixture turns into a thick custard. And cook the custard until it reaches pudding-like consistency. And now for my final two ingredients, I have one tablespoon of Kahlua liqueur and one tablespoon of instant coffee. Stir that in. I've transferred the coffee custard into a large bowl and now I'm going to drop some plastic wrap. You wanna make sure that it touches the surface of the custard so that while it's cooling, it doesn't form a film on the top. I'm going to set this into my fridge and let it cool completely. Once your eclairs are baked, you want to let them cool completely on a wire rack, then use a wooden dowel or a filling tip like this one. This is Wilton tip number 230, and you're going to want to punch three holes into the bottom of each eclair. My coffee custard is completely cooled down, and I'm going to whip it up with my hand mixer. Next, add in a quarter cup of softened butter and I'm going to add in a tablespoon at a time, mixing after each addition. Mm -hmm. 
then transfer the custard into a pastry bag and I'm using the same Wilton tip number 230. And then pipe each eclair full of the coffee custard. You want to give it a good squeeze. And now for my chocolate glaze, I have one cup of chocolate chips. To that, I'm going to add in one third cup of hot heavy cream. Let that set for a few minutes and then stir it until it's completely smooth. Then dip the top of each eclair into the chocolate. And for some garnishments, you could try adding some white chocolate over the top. Or sprinkle on some gold sprinkles. These are so pretty. And I definitely have to cut one of these open so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside. Look at that piped full of cream. You have the empty eclair shells with that coffee cream. That's just the way you want them to be. And that's it guys for my chocolate coffee creme eclairs. Once you have these all done, if you're not going to serve them right away, I recommend placing them onto a wire rack and then into the refrigerator. You wanna keep them refrigerated and setting them onto a wire rack will prevent any of that custard that might seep out the bottom from making your eclairs soggy on the outside. Now it's time to dig in and give these a try. Absolutely love how beautiful they turned out. Mmm. Now this is what I call a heavenly dessert. That coffee flavored custard on the inside is so good. It's very rich and creamy, just kind of melts into your mouth, combined with the clear shell, a little bit of that chocolate on the top. Mm, this is going to go so well with a cup of coffee or a glass of wine after dinner. If you guys are looking for a super elegant and easy dessert to make at home, you've got to give these eclairs a try. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe and I'll see you next time.